Welcome back to That's Cringe, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we are tackling religion. <laughs> uh, huge disclaimer. <laughs> uh, we're not, we're not. Today, we're going to look at a, a YouTube channel called Girl Defined. And the way that Girl <clears throat> Defined defines themselves are just two sisters striving to be God-defined girls in a culture-defined world. Culture-defined world. What's... What, what else would it be? <laughs> the other thing that defines groups of people. Right. When they... Yeah. Right. I don't know. I'm not a fucking scientist. <laughs> I'm not a religious guy personally. Are you? I know you can, or you're... I mean, I say God sometimes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Like in vain or just... I'd be like, God. I still don't know what that... Is that negative or positive? Neither. Okay. I just, yeah. Sometimes I do this. Yeah? I don't know. Just for fun. Oh, yeah. Like a... Yeah. It's kind of cool. It feels cool. Yeah. Probably the best way to introduce these girls and what their channel is all about is probably just by going through the thumbnails on this on the sidebar here in the related videos to the ones we're gonna watch. Five powerful truths for overcoming sins. How to recover from being a desperate flirt. Oh, uh, we should watch that one. <laughs> Three ways Christian girls can promote godly manhood. Don't even know what the fuck that means. Oh, that's like when you get like 10 kills in Quake 3 and it goes <laughs> godlike. It's like... That's what that is. I guess the way I could maybe describe their channel is they, they're, it's like Christian rooted videos where they tackle issues that women have to deal with, but it just all, com it all comes off very brainwashed and sexist. This one is called, is it okay to be obsessed with guys? Hey girls, it's Bethany and Kristen with Girl Define, and today we want to answer the question, is it okay to be obsessed with guys? We can't watch this video. Why? We're not girls. Oh, is it hey girls? Yeah. Right, sorry Shit. guys, video's over. Sorry, yeah, we'll go to the next one. We want to tackle this topic because back in the day, back in high school, we were totally obsessed with guys at one point or another. This looks like a fucking Sears catalog. It does. Doesn't yeah. it? I remember one time, a specific story where I was totally obsessed with this one guy. In fact, I, I remember seeing him for the first time and then from that point on, he is all I thought about day and night. Yeah, that's called being horny. <laughs> I mean, that's the whole, that's my whole problem with these videos. Yeah. They're just talking about normal shit people yeah. deal with when they're growing up. Yeah. Oh my God, I was interested in a person of the opposite sex. Yeah, that's pretty. But then they're like, but that's a sin. And we're going to show you how to fucking not do that. Then, then, then how many girls are going to watch this and be like, well, then what do I do? <laughs> Cut off my tits. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, these, <laughs> these are for no one. And I remember one time we were at... We were out with some friends and <laughs> and we were driving and then suddenly we saw his car parked at a restaurant and somehow it was a very distinct car so we knew it was his and we were like, there he is! And I was like, I want to go be near him! And so we literally did a massive U-turn in the middle of the street, zoomed into the parking lot, spied in the windows and saw that he was in there. I got one thing to say about the U-turn thing. Don't act like you did some born identity. <laughs> they didn't do like some Fast and the Furious fucking third gear e-brake with the car around. Like... They probably just slowed down, you turned the car and went into the fucking... <laughs> no, no, one. they said they literally did a U-turn. They literally did a U-turn. Yeah, they literally did one. We literally did a massive U-turn. Wow. Isn't that fucking insane? They That's did a literal U-turn. Because of a guy? Because of a man. Talk about guy obsessed. Yeah. Wow. My obsession for this guy took me to places where I did some pretty silly things. What did you do? You just <laughs> look... You just... <laughs> looked at him through a window. That's not that weird. What if she just came in with something like... <laughs> just real offbeat. You know, I would follow him to class. I would, you know, look at what kind of car he drove. I gave him a personal dildo mold that he didn't <laughs> want to fill for me. I found a piece of his used gum in the trash and I used his DNA to recreate him in a, in a, in a 3D simulation. <laughs> that I personally coded after watching an episode of Black Mirror. No one actually knows that I am a fucking ace with C sharp and low level programming languages. I actually taught myself machine code to build a man just like the guy from school. Like what? Okay, maybe you did have to make some changes. <laughs> yeah. So a lot of us, like Kristen, like myself, don't really become totally obsessed, like going out of your way to drive into the restaurant as soon as you see a car. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Look at her face. <laughs> Ugh. 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 Totally. Dude, you're telling me. <laughs> Dude, don't even fib yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely are into it. <laughs> but dude. It was kind of like a process. Like you saw him, mm -hmm. you thought he was cute, you started thinking about him more and more until eventually he just became the the thing overtaking your mind. Then what this is just all this is is sexual attraction. That's yeah. all this is. Like yeah. she's describing it like she's the first person ever <laughs> to talk about this. Yeah. It's like I was obsessed. <laughs> I thought about guys all the, the time. time. Wait, all the time? Wow. Get help. Yeah. Seriously. What are you doing? 
You're just going around all day thinking about guys? Ew, dude. Get some help. Gross. You sick, sick person. My guy obsession didn't happen all at once. It was a slow, gradual process to where it was the first thought, then the second thought, then making an effort to be near him, then doing this until eventually it became the most important thing in my life. What, what the fuck do you think? Like, how do you think people get married? <laughs> I know. Like, you see a man and you're like, no other girl <laughs> can have him. That one is mine. And you do shit like that. You it's the same for guys, too. Yeah, it's the same. The exact yeah, same shit. Yeah, I don't want her talking to anything else that has a penis <laughs> besides me. I'm gonna do- I'm gonna do crazy things. I'm gonna fucking- I'm gonna take all the money in my bank account and spend it on food in one night. Yeah. And then pray to God she calls me back. So, we still have the question. Is it okay to be obsessed with guys? And honestly, girls, it's not okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. No, I think- yeah. I think it's just you. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely think it's I just you. I think it's just you, and I think it's fine to be obsessed with guys. Yeah. Also, they say guys plural, and they've only mentioned that they both were individually <laughs> obsessed with one single guy. <laughs> Never going back. I went off the rails. Whew. I was like... I was, I, was, like I was literally pulling U-turns. Wow. Literal U-turns. In the middle of the road. Like, Jason Statham. Out. Out. I'm sorry. Get the fuck out, I'm sorry. Janica. I'm sorry. Here, let's watch let's watch this next one here. <laughs> Six guys you shouldn't date, court, or marry. Oh boy. Okay? <laughs> what if it's just number one. YouTubers. <laughs> <laughs> it's just us. <laughs> yeah. Like wow, well, we well, can't argue with that, yeah, obviously. Yeah. True. <laughs> Hey girls, it's Kristen and Bethany here with Girl Defined Ministries. Why do they smile like there's someone behind the camera with a gun? <laughs> I, I remember being a young girl and kind of thinking that every guy was probably pretty much amazing and thinking that, oh, when I grow up, it'll be, you know, kind of easy to find like an awesome godly guy. Would you describe yourself as a godly man? Yeah, I'm constantly at the top of the leaderboard, any video game, <laughs> always. And I hit 18, 19, 20 and realized, you know what? There are a lot of really awesome yeah. godly guys out there, but there are also a lot that are just not quite so awesome, just in their journey of life and spiritual journey, not quite where, where they need to be. It's actually pretty funny how these two right here are exactly polar opposites of us right now. Yep. I have learned, we both had learned, you know, from back in your, the old days. Back when the you old were days. young. <laughs> 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 okay, so guy number one that you shouldn't date, court, or marry is this, Mr. Talk. Well, oh, you'd be fucked then. <laughs> Mr. Talk is also known as Mr. Smooth. He's the guy that can say he can talk the talk. Yeah. All they're talking about are real estate agents. They've dated a few <laughs> real estate agents. You know, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Who talk about their wife like a yeah. sales trophy on Instagram. Yeah, nice khaki suit. Yeah. Talk the talk. He gets you guys a table wherever you go right away. He knows all the waitresses. <laughs> Yeah, hold um, hold on, Bethany. I'm talking about a two bedroom condo over there up on the hill. Yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and list. I'm feeling oh. good about this one. Let's go uh, two sixty seven. Let me ten percent off this. <laughs> Guy number three that you definitely shouldn't date, quarter marry is Mr. Struggle. Mm -hmm. Now we all have our struggles in life, right? But we're talking about here with Mr. Struggle is a guy who's struggling with big things and he always says, I'm trying, I'll do better next time. I promise I'm gonna overcome this sin. I promise I'm gonna get better in this area. But as his track record continues, he never act mm -hmm. actually overcomes those struggles. I love how condescending that title is. What? Mr. Struggle. I know. You know, he's <clears throat> dealing with a, a tough childhood <laughs> and he says that he's gonna overcome it, but. He just can't. Yeah, yeah. Ditch, ditch his ass. D ditch his ass. Leave him like his mother did because he's <laughs> never going to become a whole man. He's weak. He's always going to have... He's a little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> fuck that. Yeah, fuck these girls. Yeah, that's, that's I've had my goddamn struggles. Yeah. I've been Mr. Struggle before. <laughs> fuck you guys. So, for example, maybe pornography. Maybe irresponsible spending. Maybe just not getting places on time ever. <laughs> 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 Mr. Struggles, a guy who looks at porn and is late. You're looking at him. You're looking at him. That's every dude. That's every dude. Hey, wait. 
I'm not late. You no, know, actually, I am. I am. You rubbed off on me. That's what it is. You, you fucking Whoa, rubbed dude off on me. dude rubbed off on you. No, no, not like that, dude. Chill out. No, bro. dude, not like that. Mr. Struggle over here can't keep the nasty off your mind. <laughs> Rubbing off on your fellow men. That is sugar gay. Sugar gay, dude? So we highly caution you with a guy that's really struggling. That's so fucked up, man. <laughs> that's super. so fucked. We highly caution you for a guy who's going through a some bad shit. Some shit. <laughs> yeah, you don't Ever. want that fucking baggage. You don't want that shit, all right? You look like the type of girls who would bully me in high school. Yeah, right? Ew, look at him. He's dirty with a weird childhood. <laughs> you guys must be so fun in bed, lol. <laughs> oh, God, I'm gonna come. Oh, great, Mr. Struggle. Here we go. If he's serious about overcoming his sin, yeah. he's gonna make the steps and take the steps to go find an older godlier man in his church who can hold him accountable. What? So she's saying, she's saying you're not going to be able to help him. He needs a man to help him. Like, that's just fucking sexist, straight up. True. And number four is Mr. Obsessed. And now, I've been around guys who are, like, pretty much obs obsessed with me. Mm hmm sure. And of course, it's not wrong to be loved and cherished, yeah. but we're talking about a guy who is literally obsessed with you. Like, you are even more important than God. <gasps> I bet you anything if she was like, honey, like we have to go grocery shopping. And he's like, sorry, I can't. I'm behind on the Bible. She'd be pissed. Yeah. Super. She'd be fucking pissed. Yeah. Even though that's what she wants. Yeah. yeah right? Yeah. She wants a dude to put God before her. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, babe. Can't <laughs> mow the lawn. All right? I got God shit I got to do. And she's like, honey, let's have a nice dinner. I uh, guess it's fine. No, I, I, I have to do more Bible study. I'm just, I'm really struggling with Corinthians here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, she's like, wait, you're struggling? <laughs> no, 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 babe, I didn't mean it like that. I'm not, like, I'm not like Mr. Struggle. Guy number five is Mr. Pressure. Mr. Mm. Pressure is the guy who is always putting pressure on you to do things that maybe you know you shouldn't do, areas of compromise where you're like, I'm not really sure if that's the right thing. And he's like, come on, just do it. It's not a big deal. Who the fuck do you want to date? Who are you like a like a rock? <laughs> Who are you trying to date? Mark Zuckerberg? Yeah. Because that's what that's the guy you're describing. Just stays perfectly silent. <laughs> Just yes, babe. I'll yes, yes, I'll do whatever you want. You can't be obsessed with me, alright? You can't you can't put me out of my comfort zone at all. Don't even think about struggling with anything. So what do you, you just want me to be like a soft, just guy no. that sits on the couch and just fucking like what no, do you it's want? A, it, it's a it is fucking a robot, just fucking my interest levels are capping out at 70%. I've reserved 30% data for God. She's like, that's too, that's not enough God. Decre decreasing interest in you, raising God. Guy number six is Mr. Unsaved. That's actually, that's my rap name. Mr. Unsaved? Yeah, Mr. Yeah. Unsaved. <laughs> Man, I'll be out here just <clears throat> saying hella cuss words. I'll be, I'll be sinning left and right, you know what I mean? Now this is the type of guy. He's cute, he's gentlemanly, he's mm, nice, he's charming. Gifts. She just came when she said that, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> brings you gifts. Gifts. <laughs> oh God, sorry. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> Jess. I don't know what happened to me right there. I blacked out for a second. <laughs> All right, and finally, um, we have how to be single and satisfied at the same time, which summed up in one word, I would say masturbate. Yeah. yeah. Right? That's how to be single and happy at the same time. Yep. Hey, it's Bethany with Girl Defined Ministries. And what the fuck? Why is she filming this in heaven? Bro. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like a Snapchat filter. It's just, <laughs> just permanently glowing. And today, I am going to be talking about how to be single and satisfied at the same time. So we're just gonna have some really- <laughs> <laughs> You just- Fuck your fuck. own <laughs> self with something. A uh, flashlight. This video should be 30 seconds. This is what this video should be. Hey, what's up guys? It's Cody and Noel here back with Boy Defined Ministries. Today we're gonna teach you how to be single and satisfied. Yeah. Now, it starts with something yeah. you know really <laughs> basic that we uh, we like to call uh, masturbate. Masturbate, yeah. You know, <laughs> You know, I mean, like back when we were a little younger. A little younger. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 masturbate. Masturbate. Yeah. That's what yeah, we want to do. Fucking... Yeah. <laughs> So we're just gonna have some really fun single girl talk. And I actually kicked Kristen out today. <laughs> He's not single. <laughs> what was that? That was that was the spawn of sin. Yeah, I saw the fire come out of her mouth. Actually, I actually uh, kicked Kristen out today. Um, let's, let's put her outside. Put her outside. Kick Kristen outside. <laughs> 
I get it. I'm single. And there are a lot of thoughts and things that go through our minds like, okay, can I ever be totally satisfied as a single? Will this always be really difficult? As single girls, we have a lot of questions and a lot of thoughts running through our minds on this topic. She's just dancing around what she actually wants to talk about. Yeah. What thoughts are you talking about here? Yeah. What's really hard? Yeah. <laughs> You want to fuck. Yeah. <laughs> and the thoughts get crazier and deeper and <clears throat> you see a man on the side of a yeah, building yeah. and you're like, <laughs> ooh, ooh. the thoughts. You're like, <laughs> oh, shit, <laughs> shit. <laughs> I had too much coffee today. And a lot of times I'll look at that and in my heart I'll kind of think like, you know, I remember there being a time in my own life where I was where you girls were. I remember there being a time in my- These videos are all like seven to 10 minutes. Uh -huh. They could be 15 seconds. Yep. Yeah. They just talk forever about nothing. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's just always like, I get a lot of things in it. What I understand is that finally jerk off. <laughs> These girls are just confused, man. They yeah. like, they think they know everything, but it's like everything they say is a contradiction. It's dangerous. Yeah. For girls on YouTube that come across this shit, they're like, oh wait, I don't need to, I guess I can't be guy obsessed. <laughs> well, just dig down my Harry Styles posters, I guess. <laughs> yeah. No, keep them shits up. I don't think a 12 year old girl should like be watching stuff like this. And yeah. Like your feelings are wrong. Yeah. Uh, that's it for this episode of That's Cringe. You know, we got a podcast where we do this weekly. So yeah, it's called Tiny Meat Gang Podcast. It's on YouTube, Patreon, whatever you want. Look that shit up. So thank you so much for joining us. Uh, yeah. It's Cody and Noel from Boy <laughs> to Find... <laughs> from Boy to Find... <laughs> Boy to Find Ministries. <laughs> <laughs> Very difficult if you know that I'm saying nothing and this is retarded.